Iron Toast here, and today we're going to look at the Mind Stone quest using Iron Man on Epic Difficulty. So let's take a look at the Mind Stone path on Epic Difficulty using Iron Man himself. Now this is after they reduce the difficulty of it and boy i tried plenty of times before they did that and it it probably was unreasonably hard to be honest um unfortunately they've made it too simple that it's actually not all that hard or all that fun so they they kind of missed the balance there and and it's a little upsetting you know it's a little frustrating it's like you know we want difficult content that's fun and, and challenging um you know the rewards are nice because now they're practically free but um I don't know. I mean, it's a new style of gameplay that they've come out with this month, so I'm not surprised that they haven't tweaked it and fine-tuned it yet. So anyway, onto this battle here. We're already halfway, or part of the way into Sabretooth here. What you need to know about Iron Man and the Mind Stone is, when you, you're first, first of all, you're constantly gaining a lot of armors, armor ups there. You can see on, on my side, I get armor up buffs all the time. And the more bars of power you have, the faster you gain them. Uh, well, they come at the same rate, but you get more of them each time. Uh, the second thing that you need to know is that when you are charging your heavy attack, he converts those armor ups into shocks, and if you land the heavy attack, it converts those shocks into actual damage over time buffs on the opponent. So that's why you see there's a lot of uh, heavy attacks on this particular game play, this run through here. Now, see that was enough just to get him with that special three. The the first go round, even even on the harder mode, Sabretooth was fairly easy to beat, you know. Um, I think the reason they give you so many armor up buffs, not just to transfer shocks to the opponent, but also because uh, that allowed you to stay in the game longer without having to revive. You were constantly armoring up and you were super, super defensive. Alright, so on to Domino here. Domino is, um, she's a little tricky in and of herself, right? Sometimes she can be difficult to parry. Uh, if you got, if you have unlucky, then you can't dodge that first special. Now, if you're tech, you won't be unlucky, which is great because we're using Iron Man. And if she's got lucky, then, you know, she evades your attack sometimes. So a little tricky. And right there, I was going to charge my heavy, but I was standing too close. So she hit me with hers. So no big deal. Uh, let's keep going here. We'll transfer some heavies. <clears throat> Generally, which, uh, as far as tactics, what you want to do when you're using Iron Man is uh, wait for your special three. And the reason is, is because, number one, it's very powerful. And number two, it's going to double the number of armor buffs that you have at the moment. Which, of course, if you're playing it right, you can convert a lot of those into shocks on the opponent. Now, this 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 fight was almost over anyway, so I'm not going to convert all those armor ups into shock. But uh, that's what it is for. It did work better on the hard version of this path. Now, the last one here is uh, Havoc. Now, Havoc is normally not that tough. Uh, he's got unblockable on his special one here, which kind of makes it annoying. As it's 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 actually pretty tricky to evade. I mean, I can do it, but I basically don't try. <laughs> um, at least on this video here. Uh, the nice thing about Iron Man when you're facing Havoc is he constantly has armor buff, armor up buffs going. That will keep you from taking a whole lot of damage when his plasma charges max out on you. So you don't take a big explosive damage there. See, it didn't even do anything to me when it got to 10. There's that unblockable special one, which is awesome. <clears throat> If you do throw your special one with Iron Man, which I don't, um, you can power drain the opponent. I wouldn't recommend doing that on Havoc because uh, you want to get him to a special two. It's easier to evade. See, here it is. There we go. Uh, his special one, you know, I, I, I don't power drain him because I want him to throw his special two. See, that first one gets you a lot. Um, thinking about throwing my heavy three here, or special three here. Um, let's see. Is he going to let me attack him? Maybe I'll throw some charges. There we go. Put some shocks on him. Yeah, let's get this out of the way and then let's throw the heavy three. There we go. <clears throat> I keep saying heavy three. Special three. Not enough to kill him, but uh, we gained, what, we have 100 armor buffs right there? There's no way, there's absolutely no way to transfer 100 armor buffs, but nah, you can transfer what you can. 18. It's not bad. Alright, so that's the three main characters. What remains is the Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw is um, pretty pretty straightforward. If you if you want to look at the, the other video I have on fighting the Ebony Maw in the event quest, the monthly event quest, 
that should help you if you need to get through any of these. This one, this particular Ebony Maw is easier than those because he has different uh, local nodes. This one just has the debilitate and the limber. So uh, the limber, you know, that helps him so that it's harder to break his focus, you know, par parry and get a heavy and break his focus. But uh, it's a simple enough fight. You shouldn't have to worry too much about the limber. So right there you want to, uh, this is convenient because you want to throw heavies with Iron Man because he gets the uh, shock debuffs. To, besides that, whenever Ebony Maw gets that green eye buff, passive buff, uh, that uh, that's his focus. So whenever you throw a heavy and hit, he loses that focus. Matches up pretty well with Iron Man in this particular Mind Stone difficulty, or quest I should say. Um, pretty much the same as the other fights. I'm going to wait for my special three. The reason is because you get more armor up buffs and it's pretty powerful. It does a lot of damage. You'll notice that I have a 4 star Iron Man running the epic difficulty here. I have a 5 star Iron Man, he's not duped. He is rank 3, but he's not duped, and so he doesn't get the benefit of... Number 1, he doesn't... Um, he does not do the arc overload, which is really helpful when you have one champion to get through this whole quest. If you're trying to avoid using revives and potions, that, that really helps. Um, so, I was hoping to never have to bother with my 4 star, but, you know, for this quest, I figured why not. And there you go, Ebony Maw. So, uh, basic tips on Ebony Maw is try to get in as many heavies as you can. Um, when you're up close to him, you can parry and heavy pretty easy. If you're coming, if he's coming at you from a distance, you have to mid parry. Also, if you need to learn how to mid parry, check out my video on that. It's I think it's awesome. And that's pretty much it. So that is the Mindstone Path, the easier version of it after they nerfed it with Iron Man. You know, it's still fun, don't get me wrong. It's just uh, not as challenging as it was, and there's not really... They didn't make it middle ground, they just kind of made it too easy. So, you know, um, I will take it as a learning experience for Kabam. This is a new guy, uh, gameplay style, kind of mission quest style. Um, the next time they bring it up, which I guarantee you they will, they'll tweak it and it'll be just right. So that all the difficulties are appropriate for different players. Anyway, um, so that's my thoughts on that, and that's running through it with Iron Man. Didn't have to revive, didn't use any potions. Hey, I hope you liked it. If you've stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.